Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Today we are taking a look at the Wera KK Stubby with the magazine RA1. This little stubby is really, really solid. And with my stubbies, I always generally like to go for a ratcheting stubby over a bit holder stubby. And I'll explain why but I am really excited about this little guy. This thing is super tiny and is super freaking awesome. So just to do a quick comparison, this Linux stubby has been probably my most used stubby. I really do like this little guy. The one thing I don't like about it is the bit storage. It's just this little cap that turns. You get, not only do you get the six bits that come in the magazine, you also get the one extra. Quite frankly, I wish Vera would have done that with this, but they did include six bits. It's on this little carousel right here where, you know, you can spin it around. You can actually, it actually kind of wobbles where you can get in there, get a bit, push it back in there. And it's actually held really, really secure. If we look at my old stubby, my Linux stubby compared to this one, you can see a huge difference. Now, this little extender does remove, and even with that removed, I mean, look at the difference between these two. It's a huge difference. And with the Vera, it is a fine ratcheting mechanism. So if we put a bit in there, you can hear that. Very fine tooth. The Linux, on the other hand, is a little bit more coarse than the Vera, and you can hear this. You can tell when you listen to that, that there's a difference um, in those ratcheting mechanisms. The Vera is definitely much more fine, and if I had to say, it's much smoother. I will say this, Vera's ratcheting mechanisms on all their screwdrivers are insanely smooth. I haven't tried every ratcheting screwdriver out there, but in my experience, I think Wera's ratcheting mechanism is probably the smoothest that I have ever used. And it is just absolutely brilliant. Now, if we take a look at the selector switch, you see we do have our neutral position left and right. And on my Linux here, you can see this is the switch. It also has the three options, neutral, left, and right. But you can see the switch between these two. Both of them are metal. Now, I did do a review on this. If you wanna go back and check that review out, I will leave a link in the upper right-hand corner. Also, of course, I do have the KK27 ratcheting screwdriver. And you can tell this has, obviously, it's the same ratcheting mechanism, same selector switch. It does have this extension and it isn't removable. And it, there's, a, there's a good little bit of play in there in the extension, the bit holder. I'm not a huge fan of that considering the price of this ratcheting screwdriver. I definitely think they could have tightened that up a bit. Um, and again, I did a review on this and I'll leave a link to that video as well if you wanna see it. Uh, however, it looks like they went with the same ratcheting mechanism and obviously the same selector switch. Now, I really do feel like the stubby is more refined than the KK27. Um, you can also, if you have a bit check that comes with your wrap adapter, if you need a little bit of extra leverage, you can connect your wrap adapter to your stubby and bam, you got a you got a little bit of an extension there where you can get more torque on whatever it is you're trying to drive. Now, obviously, there are limitations to a stubby, and there certainly are limitations to uh, your traditional size screwdrivers. Not just this, but any other traditional regular size screwdriver. Where a stubby comes in handy is in confined spaces like this. So. The area that I have to work with, and I run into this a lot, and I'm sure you guys do too, where you have a screw in some random area that is almost no wider than what you could fit your hand into. 
Well, that's where these come in handy. You can use these as traditional screwdrivers. Obviously, uh, you're not gonna get, enough, get as much purchase and get as much torque on these. But in a situation like this, this is where these really shine, is getting in here and being able to get a screw in a location that in this particular case is less than seven inches wide. If you try to take something like this, this screwdriver is, I mean, it's obviously longer than the space you have right here. Now, this stubby is a little longer as, as well. As I mentioned before, you can fit this in there, but if you go any smaller, if you go any smaller than this, you're gonna start having some trouble because you also have to be able to get the screw out if that's what you're trying to do. You take a risk of bumping your screwdriver up against an obstruction and you're not able to get the screw out. So that's where these really come into handy. Now, the reason why I prefer a ratcheting stubby over your normal bit holder stubby is for situations like this, when you're in an enclosed area and you're trying to either uh, screw a screw in or take one out, if it's just a regular bit holder, and we'll put this in the neutral position, it's much more difficult because you have to just do little small turns at a time. Obviously, whenever you have a ratcheting screwdriver, it makes that process a lot quicker and you can keep your hands away from any obstructions. So it just makes that whole process a lot easier and a lot more comfortable to work in. Now, don't get me wrong, you can certainly use a stubby as a regular screwdriver. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't have any problem using a stubby as a regular screwdriver. I mean, no problem at all. You can really get enough purchase on a stubby because it's thick enough, you can really fill your hand up with it and still use it as a regular screwdriver, no problem. In terms of carrying this every day as like an EDC item, I'm not so sure that I would want to. However, I don't think it would be a big deal if you did. I mean, I think you could carry this stubby quite comfortably in an EDC situation. Uh, but if I was gonna carry a screwdriver all day long in my pocket, I think I would probably go with something like this just because of how flat it is. It's, it's thinner than a wallet. You can put it in a pocket with this. You know, it has that bulge there. You know, it's kind of like an egg, so it'll stick out in your pocket just a little bit. And for me specifically, I, I don't think that would be um, as comfortable carrying this every day as something like this. However, I do think that this does perform better overall as a screwdriver than what something like this would. But if you're in an EDC situation, I mean, you're really not, this isn't gonna be like an everyday screwdriver you're gonna use to, to put big, to turn big fasteners in. I mean, it's just, you know, not what it's made for. So overall, this little stubby, this thing is really, really small, but it has enough girth, <laughs> LOL, has enough girth where you can really get a good grip on it and you can really get some serious torque with this thing. Um, I don't know that I would replace a regular size screwdriver with one of these. However, you certainly could use this just as a regular screwdriver. Um, but in terms of carrying this as an EDC option, I'm not sure that I would wanna do that, uh, but that's just my preference. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that do carry a stubby around every day, and there's really nothing wrong with that. It really comes down to what's uh, you know comfortable to you, but you have to have one of these in your toolkit because inevitably you are gonna run into a situation like this. And when you do, you're going to wish you had a stubby. But that's all that I have for you guys today. I definitely want to thank you all for stopping by. If you enjoyed the content and uh, you enjoy videos like this, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, I will have affiliate links down in the description if you want to check this tool out or if you want to purchase this tool. Uh, but with that, I will see you all on the next one. Peace.